Good, it's Big Man Beats doing another tutorial video. Got the same kind of situation as before. Um, um, you know, say it's like five in the morning here. It's uh four fourteen. I know I'm a bit of a night owl. I'm trying to rearrange my schedule, so hopefully I'll be up bright and early. You know what I'm saying? How most of the world works. But uh, <clears throat> in the meantime, you know what I'm saying? You guys get the benefit of my tutorial videos. Hopefully, hopefully you get the benefit. Hopefully you, you know, learning things and enjoying the videos. Uh, let me know, you know, you say you can always let me know in the comments. Uh, but doing a beat tutorial, let me uh, adjust the, if you want to adjust the contrast, hold on the stop button and, and while you're holding it down, adjust the data wheel and it'll adjust the contrast back and forth. That looks pretty good. So doing a beat tutorial here on um, one or a couple of ways that I chop on the MPC-1000 with the JJOS-1. Uh, now JJOS-2 is a little different. Uh, I never switched over. I switched over and I tried it. I didn't care for it. Um, so I switched back. So this is the JJOS-1. Uh, I have version uh, 4.95 I think. I didn't, I didn't even finish with the upgrades but it was good enough for me. So. Uh, I'm just going to take a sample and a loop that I had um, earlier and ways that I chopped it. Um, so here's the loop that I was working with. So I just auto chop. That's the great thing about JJOS is you push chop auto and set the recovery time and threshold. Um, you just got to kind of play around with them until you get the right combination, but for this particular chop, it's pretty simple, and it, it automatically chops it right up. Like I said, if you can't hear the audio, it's because I'm doing it through my headphones, I'm not trying to piss my neighbors off. So then what I would, would do is I, I'd go edit... Um, convert to slice samples f2 and this is create new program I go yes I always do create a new program so that's this track right here so I have each pad so then I think I ended up going at like 155 beats to the minute so that's what it ended up sounding like So I just was playing around with the different chops. So at this speed it kind of sounds a little choppy but not too bad, you know, kind of gives it that grimy underground hip hop feel, you know what I'm saying? So then, let's see here, I had a sample, here it is. So I had this sample. I just took it from the um off the internet. This is Ave Maria. This is from um if you remember Hitman Blood Money. This was the sample. It's like <clears throat> Damn I can't sing y'all. First thing I do um whenever I cut a sample is I copy it. So I go window on on the sample, you know I'm up here on the sample. I hit window and I go copy. I always copy it because I like to kind of mess with the loop and so I'll just copy it to sample 7 so that way I have a new sample if I ever screw it up cut it like extract it or whatever or you know cut it because this has this what's called destructive chopping then I can always start over again on the old loop and I have plenty of memory you know what I mean 100 and whatever um, what, 11 minutes of stereo sampling time I'm not gonna run out so that's the first thing I do is I copy it. So uh, there's a couple of different ways you can cut out chops, and one way is what's called extract, and this way is kind of neat because um, if you ever have the problem with your loops where they sound too choppy because they're cutting off before before you want them to, 
this way is kind of a, a way to like mimic kind of mimics non-destructive chopping so let's say I have this particular so I go edit and ex just extract this what extract does there's this card which cuts out all the data surrounding these two chop points so this would cut out all this data here oops and all this data here but I don't want to do that I want to just take this piece out in black so I call that extract boom now that's a new sample so let's say let's say I have the let's say I want to get to the end of this loop and start a whole new chop like let's say so let's say I wanted to start right here I could extract that as a new file right and then you get to the end of this sample you know see how it I mean it I didn't time it perfectly whatever but it didn't um it didn't cut off and chop you know you get that kind of stutter that stutter effect uh, which can be kind of cool but if you want to have a smooth transition that's one way you can do it so that's one way to like mimic non-destructive chopping and <clears throat> you can kind of experiment with that I'm just kind of giving you throwing out some ideas so you guys can kind of build off of that you know what I'm saying and the last um thing I wanted to show you is just about like a create I always try to add like a little creative note to my videos you know what I'm saying is I originally wanted to use this sample as a sample but it wasn't working with the um with the beat so I ended up just taking a small piece of the, of the beat and chopping it or the sample and chopping it like way different so I think I ended up using like the yeah, I ended up doing it like this. So, I ended up with just like the loop, you know. And I wanted to put that, you know, that Ave Maria. But I, I couldn't get it to fit and I was kind of getting frustrated. So instead I just kind of made it like funky, you know, like. See what I'm saying? And I have the bass line, like and it ended up being a pretty funky um you know rap tune. So just kinda a little creative note is that you know be 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 creative, you know what I'm saying, be expressive. And that's you know one way you can kinda play with chops is even if it doesn't work out, you might work out later. So that's my video and I hope it helped. Thanks.